Hey, what's up, everybody? 3D Theory here. It's July 22nd, 2024 at 6.01 a.m. This is vlog number 11. It is an early morning this morning. I uh, was able to get three more sets of these scrapers from this spool of filament. I'm, I'm really glad I, I used up all of it, pretty much. We got our prints from last night. I am so happy that that light isn't blinking anymore from having that error. And yeah, we'll uh, get production going from here. This morning I'm gonna try out using the AMS system for auto refill and see how that goes. And by the way, I did end up using this uh, single spool instead of the AMS to print these out because something just wasn't right. And the idea of the filament sticking to each other just wasn't cutting it for me. So I decided to revert back to a simpler setup. And while it was printing, it had that same error message pop up. And lo and behold, I'll put the image up here. It was tangled. So that was the issue. But nonetheless, um, we're going to get this AMS auto refill tested out and see uh, how it functions. It seems like you have to assign the same color to everything in the AMS programming here so that it knows that it's the same color. It'll just auto refill. But also someone had mentioned when I slice, I got to also activate the auto refill there. So we'll give that a go and uh, see how it's done. We can finally start emptying out these spools of filament. That would be sweet. It is currently 79.7 .7 degrees in the printer room. A lot cooler than other mornings, I'll tell you what. I'm just trying to get a nice cross breeze here, so I left these doors open. It'll be even nicer if that fan is on, but I don't want to hear that fan just yet. <laughs> I'm gonna get these prints off and get production going. So I'm gonna take these off and there's one thing I did notice actually, and it's a good thing. Ever since, um, ooh, never seen that before. Wow, a little piece just chipped off because of how well that was stuck on there. But again, that should all be fine in terms of functionality. But one of the good things that I wanted to mention was that over here I was getting that stringing. And again, not that like cotton candy like stringing, but just three little strings of filament that would pop out right here almost every time. But ever since I've done that firmware update, it doesn't show up anymore, which is awesome. Super cool. Man, it is really sticking this morning. <laughs> A little piece came off again. Um, and yeah, I'm looking at this one as well. And yeah, definitely none of those thick strings coming out. So they must have fixed something in the firmware because it ain't doing it anymore, which is great. That is super cool. Good job, Bamboo Lab. You guys are really hitting it out of the ballpark. I love it. All right, there's some stuck pieces. So I'm going to get that off of there. Guys, thank you for telling me about this razor, by the way, this scraper. It is honestly so good. All right, taking these off now. <laughs> I hope things don't chip off. <laughs> Yesterday, just to uh, double check on why I don't take off the build plate because I just kind of have been, I made a decision at a certain point and had just stuck with it. So I did take off the uh, build plate yesterday and flex this off and then to put it back on straight was just too much of a hassle for me. So I decided not to, uh, not to, not to go that route. And it kind of affirmed why I chose to do it this way. I find this way a lot easier. Right. So I know that the Y guide rail needs to be lubricated every month and you get a you get a little message 
telling you you gotta lubricate it but what about the x what about the x-axis here um, i haven't lubricated that yet um, do you get an error message when that needs to be uh, lubricated because i want to really maintain this thing i want to make sure i'm doing all the maintenance at the right time again this stuff's just looking awesome i just really appreciate the quality of these machines all right guys let's just get this production going left latch okay now it looks like we're we're good on all the spools of filament all right this stuff's ready to go i probably should be oiling up this pretty soon i just haven't gotten any error messages yet but I think I probably should. All right, and on goes the fan. I'll put it on low this time. So I'm gonna get this tested out. Oh man, these came off so easy. Is it cause it's PLA? And I left it overnight to really cool down. Man, that came off like with no effort at all. So I think it might be true that PETG does stick to these PEI sheets really well. <laughs> To the point where one of the uh, levers here, the front got a little chipped because it stayed on the PEI sheet. Interesting. All right. Good to note. Honestly, ever since I put those cardboard things, it's not as bad, but it's still, it still vibrates. But yeah, definitely not as bad. Nice. First things first, I'm going to load up the SD card with all the files. So I'm going to go do that. All right, I got some files loaded up on there, the plates and latches, and also just a little bit of a cube for a test. So we'll get that going. We'll load up the AMS. I'm going to replug this in, actually, because I had unplugged it yesterday. All right, guys, so I loaded up an array of PLA filaments. I got a couple of blacks, um, that glass PLA from when I printed these out, and some of that purple but I'm gonna label them all as the same thing in the in the printer so this one is let's call it PLA the color is let's just say black now we're gonna do this one PLA and the color is black same thing with this one, PLA, color is black. See, I don't know why it's doing that. All right, so in here I'm setting them all to black. Okay, so now it worked. I have to remember that this screen, it takes a second to load. For example, when I click on the screen while it's printing it'll still say the original print time and then about two seconds later it'll update so let's let's just be patient with this so I'm gonna go down to PLA again I'm gonna choose black press OK and it didn't update but one two three there you go it updated <laughs> it actually took about four or five seconds but that makes sense so basically the auto refill function just requires you as far as I know to set them all at the same color um, and same material I haven't done anything to the to the g-code file I just wanted to try this out first so while this is printing I'm actually gonna probably cut the filaments um, so that they run out quicker and see if it actually switches over so let's go over to the print files Here's my example phone, use AMS, bed leveling flow calibration, so on and so forth. Alright, so I'm just setting it to the first one first. Um, as a matter of fact, let's start out with this blue one. So we'll go with this one. Print. And I'll keep you guys along to see after I cut the filament here and it runs out if it'll switch over automatically. I really hope it does, because 
If that's the way you do it, that's so simple and easy. I love it. All right, the Esun's being loaded in. It's already almost finished. So that's gonna do its thing. And then once it continues to print, I'm gonna just cut this with my snippers and see if it goes to the next available one. All right guys, so the print has started and um, I just wanted to do this really soon. So maybe I should just cut it now. Yep, I'll just cut it now. <laughs> All right, so that's cut. And as soon as that finishes, as it goes through the tubing here, um, it should just automatically go to the next available spool. So we'll see how that runs through. We got this red light flashing on number three, which I assume means that the filament is finished. So we'll just wait till it finishes going through. It's about right here right now and uh, we'll see what happens when it finishes up all right guys so i came in just to make a time now it's taking that number one because it finished with the uh, blue and it's loading it in automatically well i hope it's not getting jammed what's going on here interesting let me check that out and see what's going on. All right, so there is indeed an error. For whatever reason, that black filament had gotten stuck, so I loaded this gray one here, and uh, hopefully it actually pushes it through this time. It looks like we might have a clog. So let me see what's going on here. Well, guys, I got my hot end out. And it looks like some of that blue filament got stuck in there. So I'm just going to pull that out and we'll get things going again. All right, guys. So this top part was in the nozzle. So this is the thing that was causing uh, the jam. It seemed like the AMS was working. But nonetheless, I'm going to give it another try. I'm going to assemble this and put it all back together. And then um, we can go from there. All right. So we're back in business. I ended up uh, using the gray spool and that old black spool here. I did away with that blue one. <laughs> I'm really done with that um, blue filament. There's nothing left on it. Um, so we got them all where they need to be. They're black PLA, so they're all the same. So we're just gonna go ahead and start the print. You can start out with number three again. Cool. All right guys, so the print's starting again. And once again, I'm just gonna cut this filament so that that runs out and when it does it can just switch out to the other spools through its AMS system. It seemed to have worked the first time around but I just want to double check. I kind of want to check that it does it with all of them. Once again it's showing that red light blinking on the one that I cut so that's good. Good sign. Alright as you can tell with uh, that one there it's reaching the end so we're about to see it switch out to the next spool of filament. Alright now it's going over to purge the rest of the spool number four and I think it's going to go off and start getting spool number one right there the gray one huh that is quite odd so I don't think that's going to work because every time uh, it switches out from to the next spool it just gets clogged well actually it looks like it's going now but it did, uh, it did click on me a couple of times. But now it looks like it's actually extruding out that old filament. And it looks like it is going to actually change this time. Huh. Is it finicky? Interesting. Alright. It actually switched out to the next spool once it finished. So with that, I'm going to also cut this so that's cut and once that finishes up it'll switch out I'm assuming to spool number two all right guys I just cut this one as well and as you can see it was black then it went to gray and then back to black so next should be purple 
Once that purple filament loads up, I do want to test one more thing. So let's say all four spools of filament get used up, or let's just say, you know, half spools of filament that are nearly finished and the print isn't complete. Can I reload the AMS and have it continue print with another four near empty spools of filament? So I'm going to try that. I'm going to cut the purple and see if I load the yellow, if it'll continue on with the yellow. All right, now it's loading in the purple. It's purging that black there. Let's see, is the purple coming out? Yep, the purple's coming out. It's looking good, guys. If I could be completely honest, I was really intimidated by this AMS system in the beginning. I was like, oh man, this is gonna be complicated and kind of difficult to learn. But no, it was so user-friendly, it's so easy. I honestly, I'm, I'm already enjoying it and I haven't even done a multicolored print yet. I mean, this is kind of a multicolored print, but you know what I mean. I haven't done like, let's say a character or something that has like a green shirt and uh, yellow shoes or whatever. But uh, this is definitely putting the AMS to the test and it's, uh, I'm using it as intended. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut this now. But I'm gonna actually cut it off camera. I'm gonna hold it so the, the filament doesn't get loose. All right, so I took off that blue filament. Next, I'm gonna feed in this yellow filament and see if I can continue with the yellow filament once that's done. All right, so I loaded in that yellow filament. Let's see once this is done, if it'll actually continue. All right, so it looks like it recognized that it's finished. Let's see if it's gonna pick up the yellow filament. If it does, then we're set, we're good. But if it doesn't, which it hasn't yet, I wonder what it's doing. Mom moment of truth. AMS filament ran out. Please insert a new filament into the same AMS slot. What if I put it in that slot? Let me try, let me try to take it out and put it back in. Oh yeah. I just took it out and put it back in and it's working. <laughs> now I'm curious if I load it up, resume, let's see, resume printing. Um, now I'm curious if I put the purple back. What's going on? Filming right out. Yeah, but I, I just loaded that one. Let's see. Continue printing, but is there a way I can just tell it to use number one instead nope looks like I gotta put it right back into slot number four okay so that's a limitation um, it's gotta be in the same exact slot okay fair enough so pretty much you're left with four spools and if those four spools aren't done you got to come out and uh, switch it out from the same slot it finished from so that's something to note all right so i did load it into slot four which was the same ams slot as it's asking for over here i'm going to say resume printing and it's actually pushing it through okay so just for reference purposes you can load up the four. Once one finishes, it'll go to two, then it'll go to three, then it'll go to four. When four finishes, you can't load up, let's say one, two, and three again, and let it print from there, unless I'm missing something here. Uh, you just have to refill number four over and over again until that print you're working on is finished. That is so fun. <laughs> Oh man, now it's printing uh, the yellow on top. I don't know why, I found that so amusing. Um, that's really cool. And I, I didn't even realize it's complementary colors. Purple and yellow. Looks interesting. Alright guys, well that about wraps it up for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, peace, love, and joy.